Alright, so today I have a shoe to review that the past few models I've purchased, I've returned. Because there's other Under Armour models I prefer just a little bit better than what the purpose of these are meant for. Now, this is a really nice, thick and bulky shoe, and we're not going to talk too much before we get into it, but this shoe I would probably use for trail running or long distance running, where I find there's a handful of other Under Armour shoes that serve my purpose a little better. So, maybe this one will change my mind, maybe I'm going to keep this one, but we got to try it out at least first review, you know, run a bit at the gym, put them on feet, and have an overall view. So, let's get into the shoe. Here you go. First, you can see the box, simple Under Armour box. See the name, like in the title, UA Hover. Machina 3 Clone. Machina, right? Yeah, Machina, sorry. Sometimes they have other names. Hover is the technology of the shoe, and 10.5 is my true to size. So that's the size I went through. So I've had the Hover Machina 1 and 2. Cool and all. Kind of bulky. But let's see how this one holds up to the books. Okay, so here is the shoe. What are your first impressions, first thoughts? Now, a white running shoe, especially with mesh. For me, I get these things dirty so fast. The upper with this will get destroyed. But I didn't like the other colors, like the gray and orange and whatnot. I like this one. Uh, it kind of reminds me of a Jordan colorway. The Jordan, if you guys know, um, the Concord. Which is the white and black 11 with hits of purple. That's just what I'm saying. It's giving me those vibes. But obviously, it's a running shoe, not a basketball shoe. It's a little different. But colorways. Anyways, let's have a deeper look. We got that hit of Under Armour on that thick... Hover clone bottom. That's the main thing about the clones is they've always had this massive, massive bottom. The sole is just huge. Got to hit a hover to let you know what technology is in it. A little bit of rubber on the toe cap there. Keep the shoe from peeling. And pretty simple. Another hit of Under Armour on this side. It's kind of hard to see unless you get the light reflected in there. Unlike the orange one, that was really visible. And then you got a few dots on the plastic heel counter. Oh. Also, one last hit of hover right there on the heel counter. Some reflective material, so if you're running at night, I guess you don't get hit by a car, but if they see this and not you, I mean, the person must be pretty blind. And then the bottom is just your average, like, track runner or cement runner. Nothing special about the tread. Anyways, yeah, so that's it. Um, I did miss one thing. It does have a little pull tab here that says clone. I mean, it's really hard to miss, or really easy to miss, I should say. And then, I don't know, the laces seem to have something indented into them. I don't think you'll even be able to see from this side. It could just be marks or dent, but I don't know, it looks like they're trying to do something with the laces. And last but not least, the name, Hover Clone on the tongue. So yeah, these are it, uh, nice and bulky. They do look like they'd be a good heel to toe, like a, a running shoe to have your step that way. But I don't know, I'm going to have to put some use into them, some work into them. So. Let's go check these out on feet. Okay, and here we have the clones. They do feel a little different than the twos in my opinion. They do feel a little more low profile. So that feels like a good job, but they do feel like a very solid shoe. Almost like a wide shoe and like, a, oh, it's very flat but cushiony at the same time. Good movement, but also good stability. Um, the heel to toe feel or the movement feel, I don't know, I, I guess that's something you really have to work in over time. But what do you guys think of the aesthetic, the appeal? I mean, running shoes aren't for everyone. Some people like a different style, like a Dunk or, you know, Jordans or something like that. But this is for my health, this is for exercise, this is for performance. At the gym and outside. What do you guys think? Alright, so let's get my final opinion. Uh, let's get them side by side. So with this shoe, it's solid, it feels solid, it feels thick and all, but I have to probably run on the treadmill a little bit to kind of break it in and kind of, I don't know, mind-body connection compared to the other pairs that I have. And those being uh, like the Flow Velocity Elite as a running shoe, um, the other Machinas, uh, I forget my, there's a bunch of them I have with the names, but I forget now, I have so many shoes. Anyway, check out my previous uh, reviews, you'll see some of them there. Like, comment, subscribe. Until next time, guys, take it easy.